guys, we got four new clay piles at the ballpark. <laughs> and I got a brand new rift. I'll show you the rift on the table, just in case you don't know what this monster thing is. Then we're getting out to have some fun. Take a look. This is the rift. It is a scale rock bouncer. This thing is a monster beast. Uh, brushless power, 2200 kV. It's like got like six inch tall tires. It's got a scale version of a of a uh, 14 bolt axle, front and back. Uh, thing is just phenomenal. Uh, the weak points are axle housings, uh, maybe the diff gears as well. But uh, for the most part, you know, so far for me, this thing is actually doing really good. The battery of choice, you know, Gen's Ace 3S. And I may go ahead and bring a 4S just to do a speed test with it. Got to see how fast it is, right? So we're going to start off with a speed run. 3S and 4S, it is still box stock. I'm going to have to roll into the throttle a little bit here. GPS is on the back. Oh boy. I got a feeling 4S may not work out so well. There's 3S. Thirty-three point six miles per hour is what I just got with 3S. Let's hope I can keep it together on 4S. 4S time. The GPS still shows the thirty-three point six. Let's hope I can keep it down and hopefully keep it from falling apart. It looks like it's going to be a bit wild at speed here. A cart will get in these axle housings. Okay, looks good, looks good. A little bit fishy. Uh, 33.9, evidently I didn't get it. Didn't get what I could. That is not much more. Oh no, woohoo! All right, there we go. I think I got a little bit more out of it that time. It is very, very squirrely. There we go, that's a little better. Picked up 41.9. I'll take that versus cartwheeling this thing and ending those axles early. So guys, look at the fresh clay. They brought this out just for us, just for this video. Or at least that's uh, what I like to think. We are back on 3S, by the way. Yeah, that's what I usually hit, but got so much fresh stuff to play with. And then we've got this right here. You guys have seen me go up this, but they have done a little bit of work to it. <laughs> this is actually pretty darn cool. These dips are working really good. Now when bashing around like this, hey, there we go. Not really an issue with uh, cogging. Beautiful. Come on, mom, back, backwards, backwards, backwards. There we go. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Woo wow, this 
little hill here is becoming a challenge, isn't it? I just got to hit it right. That's all it was. That was nice. I like how these diffs are working, guys. I really do. Mid-air correction. Everything's still alive. Oh! Whoa! Again, more air co uh, correction. <laughs> that crunching was bushes. I hope. <laughs> Still together, guys. I'm starting to hear some clicking. Heard a little bit of clicking. Not sure if it's going to be those diff gears that people have been already telling me about, but well, it is still stock. And on 3S, we're going to continue the drive. Oh, wow, it almost made it up that. Luckily, the ground is soft here. Wow, that's close. Yeah, got something clicking. Uh, not sure what. We're gonna continue the drive. <laughs> Handles really good. Oh, 
That was a fun time out there. Uh, I went for the clay, but man, that one hill with that little, like a vertical lip, that uh, that got more of my attention than anything. Luckily, most of that out there was actually fairly soft, so it kind of cushioned the landings. Uh, the one thing that I do believe is about to go away are the front diff gears. Um, I know I've mentioned it in the videos, a little bit here, a little bit there, but you know, it does seem to be crunching gears, and that's not very good. Um, this was the second drive with it. So, yeah. Anyways, it is what it is. Overall, the vehicle handled really good. I like the diffs in it. I really do. Um, I thought they were way too loose when I had it on the table, but out there driving it, it's actually pretty darn good. The responsive is there. Now, as far as the cogging on the first drive and all that, you're not really crawling out there. You're just kind of hitting the hill and going for it. So, cogging was not an issue. I mean, was it there? Yeah, but it's not an issue out there. If you're going to crawl this, you've absolutely got to have a censored system. Um, now, as far as you guys saying, I know somebody's going to say, it's not a crawler, it's a bouncer. Well, guys, we're going to crawl this. It's going to be built as a crawler. Guys are going to put brass on this. They're, they're going to weight it down and they are going to crawl it. It's, it's just going to happen. Everybody, we buy a vehicle, we have an idea of what we want that vehicle to be. And in the hobby, in the RC hobby, we have that ability. So you're going to see this thing built all kinds of different ways from all kinds of different people. But anyway... In that description, I will put a link to this so you guys can check that out. It's box stock. I'll also put a link to, if I can find them, the parts that I believe this thing is going to need. So, anyway guys, hopefully you liked the video. Check that description for affiliate links. Horizon, Amazon, Amain, and eBay. Went way out of order there on that one. Uh, yeah, they are affiliate links. Use those links to support the channel. It means a lot to me and the guys. If you're using the links, thank you so much. So guys, check that description, use those links, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.